with the blood of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, that we have that blood, Lord, that it's, it's activated when we speak the name of Jesus by faith. I thank you, Lord, that the blood is crying mercy over us tonight. The blood is crying mercy even over this nation tonight. The blood is crying mercy over this meeting tonight. The blood is crying mercy over all of us, Lord. And we thank you for it. We're grateful for it. We're thankful for the blood, the precious blood. And Lord, we've been told that if we will make much of the blood, the blood will make much of us. And so we make much of the blood tonight, Lord. And we say in Jesus' name that everything you want done in this meeting, Lord, it will be done. It will be done. It will be done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Lord, we pray right now for Brother Copeland. We lift him up, Lord, even as the Word tells us to. In Ephesians, Father, we do exactly what this Word tells us to do. And Lord, we pray in the Spirit on his behalf. We pray in the Spirit for utterance for him. We pray for divine unction for him. We pray for the, the unction of the Holy Spirit to move upon him and within him and to lead him and to, to direct him, Father. So there's no question. There's, there's no abrandoste kisham lata. But he lays hold of the word of God. He lays hold of the, the words that God has from heaven for this nation. We thank you, Father, the words from heaven for the body of Christ. We thank you for words from heaven, Lord, to come across his lips with the anointing of God that changes things. It changes things. It changes things. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you in this word. The word of the Lord will change us that our minds will be changed, our thinking will be changed, and we will be lifted, built up, and edified according to the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Well, you may be seated. Thank you, you guys. Don't go too far. I want to share just a couple of things with you. You know, uh, we are here to pray. And sometimes... People want to just come in and jump in and start praying. But Jesus said that the greatest uh, assurance of the manifestation in our presence is when we are praying in agreement. And what are we going to agree on? I think we should agree on the Word of God. Because the Spirit of God moves when the Word of God is spoken. So when we have the leading of the Spirit in the Word of God, then as we pray, we can all set our faith in agreement and we'll have the moving of the Spirit. We will have Him cooperating with us and Jesus will be in our midst. So, you know, I spent time today and actually over the last several days just asking the Lord, how would you have us to pray? Sometimes we know what to pray, but we don't necessarily know how to pray it. You know, there are a lot of different ways to pray. Uh, there are a lot of different modes of prayer, different kinds of prayer. Sometimes we pray very quiet. Sometimes we wait silently before the Lord. Sometimes we're praying loud and strong and we're marching. Sometimes we're praying in tongues. Sometimes we're, we're uh, praying in our, our known language, our English language. Sometimes uh, we're praying with tears coming down our cheeks. Sometimes we're praying it with the bold voice of authority. Well, there are a lot of different ways to pray and a lot of different things that we could pray. But there is one way that works always, and that's by the leading of the Holy Spirit. And his leading is always to the Word of God. So in Ephesians chapter 6, I quoted this verse already, but in verse 18, it says to pray at all times, on every occasion, and in every season, in the Spirit, with all manner of prayer. 
So no matter what kind of prayer we're praying, we want it to be in the Spirit. You might say, well, I thought praying in the Spirit was praying in other tongues. Well, this word praying in the Spirit right here could also be, could be translated and said praying by the Spirit or praying out of your Spirit by the leading of the Holy Spirit. He's saying whatever prayer you're praying, you should be praying this with the assistance of the Holy Spirit coming right out of your heart and not just a prayer that you learned or a prayer that you think sounds good or a prayer just that you picked, but by the Holy Spirit. It tells us in Ephesians chapter 2 that we have access to the Father by the Holy Spirit in verse 18. So it's the Holy Spirit that leads us in. Jesus opened the door, but the Holy Spirit is the one who leads us into the presence of God and then tells us what to do when we get there. I, I, when I was young, about, I don't know, about uh, 16, 17 years old or so, and Pat Boone was at our house. And I found out and I, I uh, went to the house and there he was. And for maybe the first time and maybe the only time in my life, I was speechless because I was in the presence of somebody that I thought was very important. And I was very impressed that he was at our house and I did not know what to say. That's the way we, we would be if we really had the understanding of coming into the presence of Almighty God. And to realize it would help to have someone who knows what to say to help us to say the right things. You can say whatever you want to, but that doesn't guarantee your results. But when you pray what the Holy Spirit leads you to pray, then results are in order. Praise the Lord. So this tells us that we should be praying in the Spirit. And he says then, to that end, keep alert. In other words, stay on top of it. Stay on top of it. He says, with strong purpose. Now, I don't know how many of you really young people in here, but the rest of us know what a typewriter is. Do y'all remember a typewriter? You can find out information about one uh, on the internet if you've never seen one or know what one is. But a typewriter was one of those uh, our, uh, ancient instruments in which you would type much like a computer, but this top across the, the top, this piece called the carriage. And so you would type away and this carriage would move along as you typed. How many remember? Oh, see, you're telling your age right there. But you would type on this thing and it would move across and then when it got to the end, what did you do? You had to slap it back, right? I liked the little bell at the end. Did you like the bell? I liked the bell. Well, what we have to do in our focus as we train our spirits to pray, and you do have to train. You know, your, um, your flesh is always wanting to sit down and do nothing, right? It's always like, oh, if I could just sit down. I just want to sit down. But when you sit down to pray, you know what it wants to do? Get up and move. It thinks of all these kinds of things that to, to do. But when you train your spirit, you just bring your flesh and you say, no, this is what we're going to do. And then when your mind starts to wander around and be distracted, you do just like that typewriter carriage. What do you do? You slap it back in line. You bring it right back to center and say, no, we're going to get in touch with our spirit. We're going to pray out of our spirit and pray in the Holy Spirit out of our spirit. We're going to pray by the unction of the Holy Spirit and say, well, how do you do that? Well, the first thing you do is get saved. And then you do what the Bible says. It says you have been given an unction from the Holy One. You've been given the Holy Spirit, an anointing. And so you trust what Jesus said about that. So here we are. He says we will pray in the Spirit. So we're going to keep our focus right there on this praying out of our heart. And keep, just keep pulling yourself to that place out of your spirit. But then he says with a strong purpose. 
and perseverance, intercede in behalf of all the saints and pray also for me. It was very important that Paul had prayer for lots of reasons, but one of the main reasons it was important was so that he could get out what God had put in him to say. He says, pray for me that freedom of utterance may be given to me so that I may open my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the good news and pray that I declare it boldly and courageously as I ought to do. Not that he was timid, not that he was afraid, but that he could in confidence speak out things that people had not heard. Speak out things boldly in such a way that those words weren't just information to those people, but they hit them with the force of revelation and changed people's lives and changed the spiritual condition of the body of Christ. Well, we can still have that going on today as we pray for Brother and Sister Copeland and we pray for utterance from the Holy Ghost that the words that come across their lips, that they're not just here to tell us what they know and tell us what they've studied and tell us what they've learned. I can promise you they've studied a lot and they've learned a lot. They've forgotten more than most of us know. But that's not what we're after. We are after the word of the Lord for you, the word of the Lord for your family, the word of the Lord for the body of Christ, and the word of the Lord for this nation. Hallelujah. God has an end time purpose for this nation. He has an end time purpose for this nation and the rest of the world is waiting on it to happen in Canada because what happens in Canada is going to trigger and affect things happening around the world. Hallelujah. And so we have to have those words that change us, that transform us into the image of Jesus. We have to have those words, not only the words, but what's in those words. We have to have those words that produce in us a work of the Spirit that causes us to rise up and to be more and more and more like Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray now for utterance for brother and sister Copeland. We're going to do that. How do you do that? Well, we do that according to John 4, 23. Jesus said, you're familiar with this. He said, those that worship the Father must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So everything that we bring before the Father should be by the Spirit, as we just read in Ephesians, and based on the authority of the Word of God. So as we pray, we have a mix of those two things. We have a mix of praying in tongues, and we have the mix of praying the Word of God and according to the Word of God, and asking according to the Word of God. Now, I have been asking for utterance for Brother Copeland for a long time, and I've been asking and praying for that utterance even for him over this meeting. But there's something about it when Canadian people ask Brother Copeland, ask the Lord for utterance for Brother Copeland for Canada. Hallelujah. Now, how much do you, how much do you want that word from the Lord? How much do you really want it? Then what we want to do is pray and bring a supply of the Holy Spirit into this meeting so that when Brother Copeland steps in, the atmosphere is already filled and a moving of the Spirit as we pray, and then the musicians come, and he can step right onto this platform in the anointing of the Holy Ghost, ready to preach, to pray, and to prophesy. Bless the Lord. Okay, let's have our musicians come back up. Dave, come back up, and let's help us. Let's stand now. Let's stand. And I just want you, I don't want you to just like start praying in tongues like a machine gun, but I'd rather you on purpose begin to find that place in your spirit. If you've never been filled with the spirit, 
If you're born again, if you know Jesus as your Lord, all you have to do is say, Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit. And then just yield to him and he will fill you with the Spirit. How do I know that? Because that's what he said he would do in Luke chapter 11. Hallelujah. So listen now, as we begin to pray in the Spirit, I want you to kind of listen. This is what I tell my prayer groups and my prayer leaders. I want you to have three ears. I want you to have an ear to me because I'm leading. And that way we're all praying in the same stream and we're praying together. It's much better if we're all hooked together than than all of us just praying our own thing. Secondly, I want you to have an ear to the Holy Spirit and listening for Him in what I pray. And I want you listening for the Holy Spirit with your third ear, which is coming out of you. I want you to hear what you're praying. And and so that what I'm praying and what you're praying comes together under the leading of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, once again, we stand before you in faith and we hold to you this great meeting. Lord, we believe that this meeting is appointed in your divine plan, your plan for every person here, your plan for the internet audience, and your plan for the body of Christ, and your plan for Canada, and your plan for the world. Lord, we're so grateful to be a part of it. And we're here to ask you, Father, for your will to be done in this meeting. Lord, that your will would be done in every note played, every song sung, every word preached, every prayer prayed. Lord, every word that you desire spoken, every word that you have in your heart for this nation, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we require it of you. In the name of Jesus, we, 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 we require it of you, Lord, because you said if we would require it of you, you would be faithful to give it. And it pleases you, Lord, that we are hungry for your will. We are hungry for your ways. We are hungry for your word. We are hungry for you. We're thirsty for the Spirit. We're thirsty for the moving of the Holy Spirit. We're we're hungry to see the will of God done in people's lives. We're thirsty to see the moving of the Spirit among us, Lord. And Lord, we offer ourselves to you right now as instruments, Lord, of your, of, of your people. Instruments, Lord, to request and to pray in the Holy Spirit so that a bountiful supply of the Spirit may abide in this room tonight in the name of Jesus. Le diacono she kimata noba, de ala lombro dosti, grace is a lovo brando stiki, brano kayala la maso zasti, karegeshe ne sindondo la bere kiston daba, he dondo ki alamo nona maniera, haleki baragusta, dero pashtan in itani, Lord Engle Givaro bakasta. Indoste kivoge nino noye ando zedzi ditioshta led elavropo sendita kai and led ebrando seniste Lord engre gisindo telekimashta kolebere gisino koyo lamasi keromasha kimosta kelemasi kemonosto peromasate emono ke yema mazelo bono tashta praise solomo koyota and praises alala branda star and the praises alalo vombro tasti and the praises as a so tasti and you are a kolema singeti yes a frando staki and the lifting of stombaka and the lifting of sombombroste and the lifting up rata kashta and the strengthening arabolo mogosteste with might a kabot stona and power abrano stepi and peace of rope lehe itondo coach tekina malamo nestomba rado songi telo let abraba doze si lenda raboromana indo kele masha he show kele kamaso se brandole 
Kelama Ronda Siki Bando, Alama Romana Singete, you are up Ronda Siki Pata, and you are Rapa Tashtina, and you are Ronda Sti, and you are the prize this of Ropa Stike, and you cannot Osto Kelema Sondeti, and you cannot Osto Keleba Stabropa, but you are Roma Tasineki, and you Kondo Stekniki Mashta. Oh, Kasendo Sele Marana, Raise a Kalaloma Ragana Ste, and Alamo Sonde Lima Kayota, Rote Sile Mekiotan, Lokon Ali, Lakon Ali, Asone, Asone, Asone Ato, and the Kim Robagasta, and the Kinom Rasti, and the Kim Rondasta Kinema, Unction now, Unction, Unction, Unction. A song that break those Unction from the Holy One. Unction that of Rostaka. Unction that of Ostoki. Unction that Stiki Le Mosto. Praise us a Sephora Macaste. And the East on the Lela Brandoste. And the East Karomo Costinge Lela Mahora Matasto. And we lay hold of Rakaba Stikeno. And we lay hold of Ranana Mustake Basti. And we pull up Rasonde. And we karamastata, and we come rone lele mashton brastikive. Oh, praise his name, hallelujah. Praise his name, hallelujah. Praise his name, hallelujah. 